Hi, welcome to another episode of Claudio Explains It All. This is Claudio Sorrentino, and today we are going to talk about how much does laser tattoo removal cost? There are many factors that affect the cost of laser tattoo removal. Things like how big is the tattoo is a primary factor, how many colors, who's providing you the treatment, the level of expertise of the provider can drastically change the cost. Whether you're being treated by you know, a typical advanced registered nurse practitioner or a PA who has a master's degree in their field, or whether or not you're being treated by a tech, the quality of equipment you're being treated on will also dramatically affect the cost. Oftentimes, people will treat you with a laser that's very cheap and ineffective and doesn't really provide outstanding results, can't be adjusted for wavelengths based on the color of your tattoo, or you can get treated on what now today is considered the gold standard, which is the PicoA device, which is the fastest pulsing laser on the market today, each pulse at a trillionth of a second, and that laser is actually safe and effective to treat all skin types and all colors via the three wavelengths that it offers. Pico treatments typically are gonna range on the higher end. So when you look at the typical range per session, you go anywhere from the very low end to $50 a session to sessions that can be high as $2,000 for something that's considered in essence an extra, extra large tattoo. Something like someone's full back or a tattoo that's the equivalent of two sheets of paper in size. So to try and imagine that, that would be like a full shoulder and a full length arm sleeve. So depending on where you go, places will either sell you packages that discount the procedure because of the fact that you're buying multiple sessions at once, or they'll sell you per session. And that's really up to you, but generally speaking, it's important to know, typical tattoos to remove take between five and 10 sessions with great equipment. Okay, unfortunately right now the FDA does not regulate at all the tattoo ink in the tattoo industry. There's even just a little bit of regulation with regard to the tattoo industry as a whole. So something that's very important is no one really knows what is inside your body, what that ink is made of. And the permanence of most inks is based on either some type of small metal particles that's in that ink that makes it hard for your body to try and filter out naturally. That's why tattoos fade over time. The ink in the tattoo is a foreign element in the body and your body is constantly trying to filter out that ink. And what happens is your body can't filter it out because it's a thick substance that's, that's challenging for your immune system and your lymphatic system to filter out. Tattoos th through the removal process are able to be filtered out because it breaks up the ink into particles small enough for your body to remove. Better quality equipment does that more effectively, does that much more quickly. Old equipment may break tattoo ink up into pebbles, where new equipment can break tattoo ink into dust. And that dust is obviously gonna be easier for your body to remove. But you get what you pay for. Higher quality equipment is much safer, much more effective, and much more capable of removing challenging tattoos. If you have a very low depth tattoo, typically an amateur tattoo, the amateur tattoo that's typically done without a tattoo gun actually doesn't have that much ink underneath the skin because someone is manually pressing a needle underneath the skin and there's just less overall ink. When you get treated on a professional tattoo, they use professional equipment that has a lot of needles that's capable of putting a lot more ink underneath the surface. The more ink, the longer it's gonna to take to typically remove. Additionally, colors can be more challenging to remove unless you have a laser that is optimized to treat certain colors, okay? Lasers work on light energy and that light has to be absorbed by the color of the ink to break it up. So if you don't get treated by a laser that has the proper wavelengths of light to treat your particular tattoo ink, you can expect only some partial removal. You'll see clearance of the colors that that laser is able to treat, but no clearance of the colors that it's not, which is why it's so important to choose a provider that has the right laser for your particular ink and that has the best quality laser if you wanna see your tattoo removed as quickly as possible. So again, tattoo sessions can range from anywhere from $50 all the way up to $2,000 per session, but packages typically discount those prices anywhere from 25 to 50% if you're willing to buy those packages up front. Oftentimes there's a lot of companies out there that will even offer a guarantee. Just make sure there are no hidden fees in that guarantee so you can get the most effective treatment and pay that one price without any future costs. Something else to consider with regard to the price to remove a tattoo is where you live, okay? Different states have different regulations on who is able to provide laser tattoo removal what type of level of ex expertise the person providing the procedure has to have. 
In certain states, a simple technician can do it, someone with a high school degree who just has some basic laser training. In other states, they require a doctor to do it. In certain states, they require an advanced registered nurse practitioner or a physician assistant to do it. And based on those states' regulations of who is able to perform the procedure, obviously the more qualified the practitioner, the higher the cost per hour for that person to provide you with treatment. So if you're getting tattoo removal by a doctor, it's going to be typically more expensive than getting tattoo removal by a tech. But one thing that's important to know, just because your doctor's office offers tattoo removal doesn't necessarily mean the doctor is the one providing you with that procedure. Oftentimes, because it's a doctor's office, they can get away with using a tech to provide you with the service as opposed to a place that might be a chain of laser tattoo removal offices that because the doctor is just the medical director, they are required to use someone who's highly skilled in this service like an advanced registered nurse practitioner or PA. So sometimes, oftentimes, getting this service not at a dermatologist will provide you with a better practitioner and a more experienced provider of the service, someone who does this all the time. Where at a doctor's office, you'll oftentimes see a technician providing the service. Additionally, most doctor's offices, because of the way they're set up, don't always have the optimum equipment because the better the equipment gets, the substantial increase in that equipment's cost. The newest technology for tattoo removal costs over a quarter of a million dollars per device. Okay, Most doctor's offices choose to use a device that's lower cost Okay, because they don't want to take the hit if they don't do a substantial number of tattoo removals. So when you go to an office that specializes in these procedures, you're actually going to someone who typically has better quality equipment and better practitioners because they make it up in volume. They're able to do this more often and treat more people so it justifies the high cost of the best quality equipment. So keep that in mind when you're shopping around for tattoo removal, that equipment varies dramatically by provider and always ask who's the actual person providing your procedure, not just who's the office that that procedure is sold at because that could very much be a misleader in terms of who's going to be the one who's actually removing your tattoo. And it's very important that the person removing your tattoo has tremendous amount of experience doing this, has done a lot of tattoo removals because for you to get the most effective results, they need to make sure that they're treating you on optimal settings and adjusting it for the specific ink you have. Additionally, not all lasers are capable of even that adjustment, so it is very important to make sure that the laser that's treating you is the right laser and is capable of treating all the colors of the ink that you have, and that way you can guarantee that you're gonna get results as quickly as possible. Something else to consider that's outside of their control, typical provider's control, is where is that tattoo on your body? Most people won't adjust the charge based on where your tattoo is located, but you can expect tattoos to clear faster the closer they are to the heart. And the reason why that is is because your lymphatic and immune system are more capable of pulling ink closer to the where there's more blood pressure. So tattoos on the lower extremities typically take longer to come out than a tattoo say on the chest or a tattoo on the neck that's very close and has a lot of blood pressure pumping blood in and out of that area. So if you have an ankle tattoo, it may take 10 to 15 treatments to remove as opposed to a tattoo on your chest which may take five. Um, but again, the quality of the equipment matters the quality of the practitioner matters, and unfortunately, no one knows what type of ink is within your body. So based on that, you have to understand that most of the time, even with all of the technology we have today, and all of the research that the doctors have done, it's just a best guess as to how many treatments it's gonna take to help remove your tattoo. So just understand that when you're going in there and if you're hoping to shop around, and you think, maybe I just wanna buy one or two sessions to see how this works, Typically, the package price is going to be more beneficial for you because that package is going to make sure you're covered for as many as it takes. In case you have a particularly stubborn ink, you can be sure that this package is going to cover you for as many treatments as you need. And then hopefully, if you're going to a good provider, they have a good free lifetime guarantee and you won't have to worry about any lifetime additional costs. All right, everyone, thank you very much for watching another episode of Claudio Explains It All. I hope that helps you in your search for tattoo removal and your understanding of how it's priced. I hope now you're a little more well-informed and able to ask the right questions when you're shopping around. And I hope you tune in for our next episode of Claudio Explains It All. Please like and share if you're appreciative of these videos. And we hope to see you again sometime soon.